So I got a great riddle for you. What do you get when you take people from France, the UK, Italy, Germany, and the US, and you mix them all together? If you said World War II, touche. If instead you said sweet, sweet science, you would be correct, sir or madam. So one of the most awesome things about being a scientist is that if you can convince other people that your ideas are great, they will give you money and you can make your ideas a reality. This is what happened to me when I was fortunate enough to get a fellowship from the French Embassy to do a collaborative experiment with a whole bunch of Europeans. We were united by our common interest in how humans are affecting coral reefs. We were particularly interested in three different effects, nutrient pollution, high sedimentation, and overfishing. When you get a lot of humans living on coastlines, you get a lot of human waste. Eww. Human waste is chock full of nutrients. There's also a lot of fertilizer use uh, in farmland. All this stuff can get flushed right into coral reefs on the coast. You get nutrients flushing in, you get sediments also flushing in with those nutrients. More humans means more mouths to feed you get more fishing too, and too much fishing can be a bad thing. We wanted to understand how these three human effects may affect one another and how they ultimately affect corals and the reef. Fantastic, we've got this great idea. Now all we gotta do is deploy this really ambitious experiment in just five days with five people. We should probably get moving. So how do we do this experiment? Do we just de destroy large areas of reef? No, that's disgusting. No, actually, we just use these itty bitty tiny little corals. They're cute as a button. Uh, we call them nubbins. They're great because they allow us to not destroy the reef, but we can also learn a lot about how corals respond in general to these changes that we impose. So first order of business, we need to go out and collect a whole boatload of these tiny little corals to put in the experiment. So we were conducting this experiment out of the French research station on the island of Morea. And I had been living and working there for a while, but at the American station. So this gave me an additional cultural experience. Bonus. The French research station was really cool. Uh, beautiful station situated right in the mountain valley. So I'm walking around thinking, this is a really nice spot. I'm glad I'm working here. Let's check out the dock. Oh, oh, no dock. Hmm. Shortly after I found out there was no dock, I also found out that there was no way to haul the trailer with the boat on it except manually just throw the trailer up on your shoulder and launch it down this steep slope into the water and then theoretically you gently push the boat out start it up and take off and do your work the big problem on this particular day the only day we had to collect these corals was that the weather was not cooperating we have these Massive waves crashing into the shoreline, uh, only supposed to get worse, so the clock is ticking. We gotta launch this boat and we gotta do it quickly. We divide up the tasks. Somehow I got stuck with the position that I like to call designated human shield. Once we got the boat into the water, push it off the trailer, it was then my job to hold on uh, and block the boat from hitting the shoreline, mostly with my chest and face. Meanwhile, my colleagues loaded up the boat, jumped in, tried to get this baby started. It gets going, I jump in, we bail. Now we gotta find and collect our corals and we need well over a hundred. Kinda like doing a scavenger hunt when you're a kid, except if you fail, instead of getting ridiculed, you just kinda feel dead inside because you let down your colleagues and your funding agency. So the stakes are high, we gotta cover a lot of reef quickly. All of a sudden, our hunt is cut short because a storm is rolling in. As we flee the scene, there's one question on everyone's mind. Did we collect enough corals? We get back to the wet lab, we count them up. We needed 144 corals. We collected 148. Count it. Huge relief. Now all we gotta do is construct thousands of pounds of experimental units and deploy them in the field in just two days.